Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'll be showing you how to add custom tooltips with JEI. So first of all we need JEI support and we can do that by adding a plugin called API Reborn. So first of all let's go into our folder folder for our plugins. You need to go to preferences and manage plugins open plugins folder this should be it now let's uh, get our plugin so go to the mcreator website community and then mcreator plugins look for a plugin called apis reborn which should be on the fourth page yep over here apis reborn go down to the bottom you, you can read all of this if you want Go, to, uh, go down to the bottom and download API Reborn and the highest version after you downloaded it put it into that folder plugins folder it should be it now let's remove this this is good now let's restart M creator save close now let's restart it and the plugin should be there going to preferences plugins yep AB, api reborn is there so now let's open up our workspace i'm going to workspace settings external api and turn on just enough items it also adds support for gecko lib gecko lib if you want save changes and click yes now it's gonna do its job Now that's done. To add those custom JEI tooltips, we are gonna follow this tutorial. We have already done the API part, so we don't need to do that because of the API reborn. So let's uh, skip that, and now we are on to here. This is the bit we need. So let's first of all make a make a new element called custom element, and call it JEI tooltips. And then once you're here, delete everything except package net creator. And after everything is deleted, this is what you should see. And your name over here. So let's go down here. Import this whole code and paste. Now we are here. Let's change this to custom element name which is JEI tooltips for me and then that's good now let's add the mode name for this the mode name is JEI tooltips so you can check it there and paste replace that so we are done with this now let's check if yeah, it, do, it causes any issues or not save and check and it should know it doesn't seem to be doing any issue so we can cancel that so now let's add our items so we're gonna add gonna i'm gonna add a simple item example item let's take this texture item and make it quick that should be good enough and that's done so let's do this let's continue the tutorial so we need to add our item into the mode we need the mode name and item name we don't you don't need to do this by uh, doing a simple step so let's get the import item for that we can do that by making a procedure test any procedure and then get that put this quick anything works and then put your item inside of here and do anything and that should be good enough now once you're done click on the procedure and look in the code 
you can see that it has that import import your item into it copy that go over here add it into here look it works and that's good that's good now let's add the item into it now copy this bring it down to here and make space so we got this now and this should be really simple just copy this and then paste it replace that that's good now you can add any description you want and that's good enough now save and also you can delete that procedure now you don't need it that's good and let's play the game and see what happens so everything seems to work no crashes so normally JEI would be installed with the API so you can see it, it's over here but it doesn't work in the game it's not even there so I'm gonna have to export the mod and check it out in another place so after going around uh, looking for what was wrong I found out that my mod name was called JEI tooltips and I think it was messing with the JEI and it removed JEI so I'm on another workspace which has the same same items and everything that I did in that one but with different items so let's go over them this is a mod which is public and you can download it it's called Levenide. Levenide. So let's see. So yeah, JEI is working here. There are no problems. For you, it should be working as well. So let's grab some of the items that I have it added the descriptions for. And the last item is over here somewhere. to go oh it's over here so that's uh, if I press press R on it you can see there's an information over here and it tells you information about it so this is a helmet which gives you one in a hundred chance every tick to give the give the person wearing it hundred ticks of resistance and it actually works and you can see it should work soon that's good and that's, uh, also these items found inside a metro night meteor this doesn't have any this still has it obtained from mining sunstone ore so that's it and hope you guys enjoy it see you next time and make sure you don't name it JEI tooltips it's gonna ruin it